strong start by Villa Lee Chapping, managing to get two corners. Here comes the second one. And it's a goal scored at in the corner. And uh, I think it's Martin Jonsson who scores. The Villa Lee Chapping supporters who traveled here very happy to see their team score the first goal of the game. That's Bianic. Uh, the halves are only 30 minutes long, so the game in total will be 60 minutes, not 90 minutes. There's a corner though, Neftianic, great opportunity, saved though by Vila Lee Chapping's goalkeeper. Um, Ravi Carlson now for Villa Lee Chapman with the ball, shooting it, and he scores! David Carlson, the captain of Villa Lee Chapman, breaks through and shoots, and he scores the second goal of the game for Villa Lee Chapman. It's 2 0 Villa Lee Chapman after 22 minutes. Now it's Villa Lee Chapping's turn to play with the ball for a while, probably. Chapping will keep the ball in their possession and now maybe they can build something up here. They're coming in with three players in the penalty area for Neftianic, but the ball runs out. And it's the goalkeeper coming in ball here. And there is the goal for Neftianic. It's an early goal and they really wanted this and uh, they got it. It's not on a corner. It's not a free stroke. It's uh, just a very nice goal they just scored there and it's an important one early on in the second half. Making the game a little bit more close. Two to one now, they're still behind one goal. But this will definitely Ishkelden with speed. That's a great save, but it's a penalty. It's uh, a penalty stroke for Neftianik now after a great shot by Ishkelden and, another, and a great save by Jesper Team Fosch. But now we will have a penalty shot for Neftianik and a great chance here to tie the game up. We've only been playing for seven minutes and we can already have had two goals from Neftianik completely eliminating Vialli Chapping's previous lead. Ryashansev scores just like he's supposed to. I also see a lot of Swedish fans at the in this stadium uh, cheering for Neftianik scoring. 
So they do have uh, some support from the Swedish fans as well. Yeah, Lee Chaplin's timeout. Neither of the team, neither of the teams have really done anything dangerous. But here comes Lee Chaplin with an attempt to do so. They have all an open, open net basically, and he puts it right there. Johan Esplund giving Lee Chaplin the lead again, which they had before this which they had when this half started. 3-2, Villa Lee Chopping. Fast on the left side of the ice tackled and a free stroke for Villa Lee Chapping. So they're still up with one goal and we have a little bit more than eight minutes left to play. We have eight minutes plus the added time which is I think one and a half minutes right now. There's a great ball for Villa Chapping opportunity to extend their lead, which they do, and uh, we're having at least a dozen of people standing up and cheering here at the stadium after that goal. Uh, Lee Chapping fans that travel here, very satisfied with how their team is playing right now. Lee Chapping extending their lead to 4-2 in the 53rd minute. And uh, well, they've been up to between Vesteros and Villa Lee Chapping. Vesteros is the current Swedish League champions, and Villa Lee Chapping is the current Swedish Cup champions. And uh, they'll both, then they'll face each other, and we'll know who will be the new world champions. Will it be Villa Lee Chapping? Or will it be Vesteros? Neftyanik, though, still have. We still have a couple uh, of minutes to tie this game up. They need to score twice, though. It's a hard, they've had a hard time scoring two, ga two goals in this whole game, and I doubt they'll score two goals in the last seconds. Well, they do score once at least. The Ashans have coming in from the bench, shooting from distance, out of nowhere, just giving uh, this game some last minute excitement as he scores 4-3. Avila Shams have second goal in this game and uh, this will definitely bring some energy to Neftyanik and that was a terrible pass but he actually reaches Dovi Carlson and Villa Lee Chapping. Very risky one though. Frustrated by the referee's call. He thought it was not a corner but it is and uh, it is one minute left of the game. We'll see this corner and probably one more attack from Neftyanik. If Yali Chapping doesn't score here. David Carlson shoots. He scores. The ball slips through the full. Like all the Neftyanik players are standing on the line during this corner. David Carlson, the first shooter. It's obvious he's going to take the shot. He takes the shot on the ice. Passing through all the players on the line, and uh, Villa Chapin is extending their lead yet again to a two-goal lead, and uh, this game is over. Villa Chapin will win. It's 5-3 right now. The score might be adjusted if uh, Neftyanik scores another fast goal now, but it's no time left of the game. We're playing. I think it is three and a half minute at a time, so it's. Only 20 seconds left, and uh, the corner goal by David Carlson uh, was the one killing the game, and there can be another goal as well. Yes, it is. Number 83, Donny Landeshorn and Villa Lee Chapping just finishes what his teammates started, and uh, Villa Lee Chapping is leading Neftyanik 6-3, and I think the referee can just blow the whistle now 
and end this game because we, we have our winner it will be a completely Swedish final it will be Villa de Chapping playing against Westeros the current cup champions in Sweden playing the current league champions the final starts at 4 o'clock this afternoon and uh, Swedish time and I will be commenting it with you and I hope you want to explain Axel Ekholm and Daniel Andersson David Carlson scored twice in this game will he be able to score twice in the final Vestro has played a very good game against Sandviken uh, as they beat the home team in this tournament and went on to the final Vila Lid Chapping will be facing them at 4 o'clock my name is Simon Isaacson. Thank you for watching.